calculator, how to create a calculator app, right? So this is going to be a very simple calculator. Okay, let's see and understand uh, how to create this, right? First thing, let's do a very simple design. Okay, not getting too much into the details and all, right? Let's create a small uh, calculator where um, we just can do all operations basically, right? Okay, so first thing we will be needing is the first input and a second input box. Okay, and then a label we will be needing. Then we need um, addition button. So then this is uh, subtract button multiplication button division button maybe we can do the percentage okay so let's say this is addition this is subtraction this is multiplication This is division. Last one will be percentage. Okay. Let's click on this label and this label text will not be there. Let's say 200, height 35. This looks good, font size 20, text alignment center, text we can remove. On the first input box, I'm just going to write enter number here. Okay, so here also let's say same thing enter number here okay now what exactly we're going to do is whenever he gives number here and here right and then he click on any of the addition or subtraction or any button then we'll display the result over here okay very simple right let's quickly start off first thing on event addition button click so addition button is button one so addition button click so we have to set the text on label, right? So I'm just getting set text on label one. Okay. So it just has to get the text and add two numbers, right? So I'm just getting this. Here we can um, get get text block. Okay. So get text, get text, get text from text input one and get text from text input two. Okay. So what exactly we are doing here is whenever button one is clicked, right? That means when this button is clicked, it will set the text on the label one. That means this one, okay? What text will it set? It will get the text from text input one. It will add it with the get text from text input two and the sum will be given and placed inside this label one, okay? So this is about addition, right? Same way you can just change it for subtraction so it's button two on label one only instead of plus we are just doing minus so get text from text input one get text from text input two remove this addition block that's it right so this is for subtraction same way we can also do it for multiplication okay so Let's do it for multiplication. It's button three. Okay. So basically just drag it and place it on top. Get the multiplication operator. This is the multiply operator. So basically what happens is um, multiplication operator is this asterisk symbol. Okay. In programming, it's uh, we use that symbol for multiplying something, not the X operator. Okay. So lastly, we have division also. So for division, we'll, we'll just have to use the control thing. We'll say if else, 
will use if else block set text if number not equal to 0 right we can't divide it with uh, 2 right so if get text not equal to so this is the not operator this is not operator we need not equal to yeah if get text let's get this if get text from text input to okay when the second number is zero right if get text text input to not equal to zero only then we have to make it happen right that means if it is some number then if not this should not happen actually right else it will say else set text on label one as can't divide with zero okay um yeah let's check if this works out right so if uh, get text from text input to is zero not equal to zero then this will happen if it is equal to zero then this will happen can't divide with zero okay so this is for button uh, four right so on event button four click then this should happen lastly for the percentage button right percentage is basically like uh, you just have to divide it by 100 and multiply it with the second number okay so here if i write 90 and here if i write 10 that means what is 10 percentage of 90 is being asked by the user okay so let's get on event first on event button 5 click right so first thing we'll have to set text on now label 1 only right so you have to go to math and get multiplication operator also you get division operator okay so first go to ui controls and get get text so get text of text input 1 divided by 100 okay and then get text from text input 2 okay so this is all right now we have done all we have performed all the uh, calculations here right addition subtraction multiplication then okay here i did not replace it with division right so let's get the division operator division operator is the forward slash okay right that's it okay let's remove this one now so when button one is clicked we are setting the getting the text from text input one and text input two adding it and showing it on the label same way subtracting them and showing it on the label multiplying and showing it on the label dividing right and then showing it on the label then uh, doing the percentage and showing it on the label okay so very simple two text inputs we have taken then we have taken a label right then we have uh, four buttons sorry five buttons for doing each operation okay let's click on run and check first if i just write um, let's give a small number only 10 here also let's write 10 addition okay this is considered as string now right so it is actually concatenating the thing right okay no worries let's first check with the other operations also 10 and 10 subtraction 0 multiplication 10 times 100 division 1 percentage so percentage is also not correct right so 10 divided by 100 should give us 1 by 10 10 by 10 okay 10 percent of 10 10 by 100 10 by 100 
multiplied by 10. Yes, it's 1. So, okay. Only the addition thing we have to check. It is actually concatenating the thing, right? So to avoid this concatenation thing, what exactly can be done is we can say get number there, okay? So instead of get text, let's say get number, okay? So get number, get number, get number from text input 1, get number from text input Let's see. Let's write 10. Let's write 10. Click on addition. 20. Perfect. So 10 minus 10, 0. Multiplication 100. Division 1. Okay. So even the percentage is given as 1 because based on the thing we gave, it's like that. So is it the same kind of operation we actually do? So 10 percentage... 10. That means what I am doing is normal usual calculation of the percentage we are doing here, right? So 10 by 100 multiplied by 10 should give 1 only. So based on the calculation, whatever we did, that is correct only, right? Usually, uh, like let's say 90, let's suppose, okay, why am I doing like this? So 90 and then 10, percentage 9. Yeah, this is correct, right? So 10% of 90 is 9 only. So definitely 10% of 10 is 1 only, right? <laughs> okay, I was thinking it in the wrong way, but this is correct. Yeah? <laughs> okay, all right. So addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and percentage. Simple, very simple, right? You can absolutely um, calculate all the things over here, right? So yes, this was all about our today's calculator app, right? Okay, I'll just share this, uh, share this link in the description box below. You can check this all out, right? If you have any concerns, you can do let me know in the comment section below, okay? So meet you all guys in the next session. Before that, I would also like to remind you all guys that please do watch all the uh, videos in sequence right if you're starting off with any playlist do subscribe to my channel folks hub okay please do like comment share and subscribe to my channel folks hub bye bye dear bye guys <laughs> have a great day all thank you so much for watching this video